One now, four and one in games decided by 10 points or fewer, but a little too exciting toward the end. A little too uh, close, but you know, we did a lot of good things. Again, I thought this tournament, I thought we grew up a little bit. Uh, some areas that obviously are, are glaring that we need to improve on. Um, you know, and, and, and Rhode Island's a good team, as you and I talked about before the game. Have already beat a team in the top 25. Uh, they got you know scoring threats and, and great physicality around the basket, and their pressure defense is one of Coach Hurley's hallmarks. And uh, we didn't do a great job of it at times, and at other times we did. But um, we'll take two and one. Um, would have liked to have been playing earlier today, to be honest with you. Sure. Um, but as you and I talked about before, you know, we have a tough, tough stretch this week, and, and we need to get home, and we need to get a little rest, and then we need to get ready to represent the ACC in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Your defense helped create some turnovers down the Man, stretch in the, in the first half. Our, our first half defense mm -hmm. was yes. as good as it's been all year long. Absolutely. And, and unfortunately, in the second half, um, we didn't defend the ball as well, but it was really our first line of defense got too stretched out, and, and now the second line has to help. And if the second line has to help, it leads to layups, and it leads to offensive rebounds. And that's something that, you know, we got to be okay that, you know, they, they made a couple threes at the end, two of them, and so they were, you know, one of 13 other than those last three threes that they took. They hit two out of the last three. They weren't going to be the shoot and jump shots. We need, that's an area of maturity. We need to discipline ourselves a little bit better in that key aspect of our defense. Well, working against guys like E.C. Matthews and T.J. Buchanan, good preparation for the upcoming schedule because those guys can penetrate. Those, they, they know yeah, what no, to no, do. They're, 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 uh, you know, both those kids from Michigan, I saw, I've seen T.J. play since he was 10 years old. You know, um, and then EC obviously was a great player coming out of the state. So those guys know how to play, and, and, and I think that's a team that is only going to continue to improve. We did a really good job on their big guys. Yes. DeMarco and, Char and, and Charles and, and uh, Robert may not get the, the point totals um, or the rebound totals that they've had so far. But one-on-one -on -one post defense, they they were tremendous today. Yeah, uh, Martin was four for five, but didn't make much noise no, until it, the end. Right, and, was, and Baruta was three for ten. Yeah, it was you know the Mar Martin's uh, ones were dunks. You yes. know what I mean? And that was not the big guy's After fault. After that penetration, yeah, that was yeah. the guard's fault. Um, yeah. I thought a couple big things today. I thought Ben Lammers gave us a huge lift, a huge lift. And we need to play him, and AD's going to get some more playing time because we need to keep those other three guys fresher. I think they, they're, they're better when they're fresher and, and so forth. And today was a perfect example. Marcus led us with 16, DeMarco had 11, and there was a whole bunch of other players contributing when their time came. And I think that's a, a mark of this team. That, and we need to, we need to uh, cultivate that, embrace that, and understand that that's a good formula for us to be successful. All right, appreciate the visit, Brian Gregory. And for a minute, I thought we were playing outdoors in Iron Mountain, Michigan. It's cold in here. Yeah, they must have, after the 1 o'clock game, they must have decided to take the heat off or put the air on or do something. Well, but, I, yeah, uh, we can tell them the air works. Yeah, if, exactly. If that's what it was. All right, uh, safe travels home. Got to get the guys back. They got class tomorrow. And then, of course, take off and leave for Evanston, Illinois on Tuesday night. Thanks, Randy. That's head coach.